Well, hi, my beautiful viewers. I'm back again with another review of uh, one of the new decks that I've recently purchased. And uh, this is a, a deck for real beginners like myself. Or it's a deck for somebody who uh, has some friends or relatives who want to begin tarot and uh, they may want to start them with a real beginner deck. Uh, I call this tarot training wheels deck <laughs> because I spent so much time a couple of months before I ever even started reading cards or buying more tarot decks uh, with saving all of the uh, things I found, all the information I found online and printing it out and buying some books. But then when I try to read the cards, I'd be laying all this stuff out to try to reference it as I was doing the reading. And, and then I recently discovered these cards that have a lot of information on them. And I thought, now that would be a very good training wheels tarot deck for me. And I found two of them. So the first one I'm going to show you is this Practical Tarot Wisdom. And uh, it looks like it gives a lot of wisdom. So I'm going to open this up and I'll start showing you what it's all about. So hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, Practical Tarot Wisdom with the Raider, Rider, Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck. I said so this is the miniature version of the 78 Radiant Rider Waite cards, and they're paired with simple down-to-earth tarot guidance. Well, that's what I'm looking for. Expert advice is printed right on the card, so there's no need to look up tarot meanings in a booklet. This handy pocket-sized deck is perfect for beginners, advanced readers, and everyone in between. Well, definitely me, the beginner. So let's see what this is about. Got my handy little knife that my father always taught me to carry. And it, this, these little knives are wonderful. I mean, it has a scissor in it. It has a type of screwdriver in it. And I think you can get them with different configurations. But let me get all of this stuff off here. It's well sealed, isn't it? Okay. Ta -da. Okay, so let's see what kind of a box. Oh, it's it's not the normal tuck box with the top thing. It's uh, it's one of these. Oh, very nice, very nice. Ooh, I like the backs of the cards. That's very nice. Oh, I gotta open this now. Okay. Mm hmm. This doesn't. I don't want to cut the cards. I've been busy during the day. We've had a lot of sunny days the last two days, and all this week it's going to be the same. Sunny and warm. It was 78 degrees today, so I've been getting in some garden time. Except today. Because today it was another two hours or more in the dentist chair. But I did get some shopping done and uh, bought some more plants. Okay, so let's see how the cards are here. Okay, Practical Tarot Wisdom with the Raider White, Raider, Radiant Rider Weight Tarot Deck. Text by Arwen Lynch. Published by U.S. Games. Very pretty. Okay, and then let's see. Oh, okay, so right at the onset, they give you a three-card reading for past, present, and future. It says, find a calm, quiet place to focus on your question. After shuffling the cards, take out three cards from the deck, place them face up in a row, left to right. And then it shows you what they represent. Very good. Okay, this is what beginners like me need. Okay, so we start out with the majors, and we have the fool here. And... They give you the full color card, but it's, of course, it's a very small picture. But then they give you a good explanation of it, not just one keyword or two keywords. 
and it says don't let worry hold you back it's time to take that leap into the unknown let your innocence be your guide you can dance off a cliff knowing that you will either bounce or fly either way you've changed your luck simply by taking a chance at something new and the magician you have all the tools you need to make things happen you're being challenged to create the life you want by using what is within your grasp what you bring into your world is yours engage your mind hands and heart today so you can see this is going to give a lot of quick learning with somebody as they see the cards because then you can look at the card look at the symbolism in the card and uh, then read the uh, not just the you know like now I know what, what these majors are I you know I don't even need to say the high priestess but I really do like having the explanation on the card so what secrets way to be uncovered who has the knowledge etc etc yeah very good very good and the Empress creativity is the key energy for today this is mother nature who can be overwhelming in her need to reproduce so this is gonna be very good and it'll be interesting for me to do layouts and see what I intuitively get if anything at this point uh, in relation to what the, the explanations are here the Emperor here is the reminder to check your boundaries it's up to you to determine if those borders need to be opened or shut down make sure others are completing their work also it's not always fun to be the boss but someone has to do it okay so you can see basically what you're getting here is a a good vision of the traditional Rider Waite cards the names of the cards and then a good couple of paragraphs here to uh, give you some more explanations and this is the lovers which is pretty obvious it's not just lovers but it could be lo lovers uh, that are not necessarily a sexual relationship or a marital relationship but it could be I think it could also be friends or close relationships here is the chariot again with the traditional black and white sphinxes Yes, and str the strength card. I love that they kept the symbols the same. So when people go graduate to using the the traditional deck, a larger deck without all the things on it, they'll be very well acquainted with these. Hermit. Never hesitate to take time for yourself. Call for a needed retreat must be answered. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune opportunity is knocking answer the door injustice weigh out all possibilities before making any decisions etc etc I won't read I won't read everything on every one of these the hangman answers can be found when you look at things from a different angle <laughs> absolutely death and again you learn very quickly that the dead card does not necessarily mean death uh, but it definitely refers to change coming up let's see and temperance what energies in your life require changing and it's also a lot about balance and the devil it's about our own addictions how much power do you give to those that do not serve you very good point point. and the tower the dreaded tower <laughs> time for things to come tumbling down somewhere you started building on shaky ground hoping for the best sadly now's the time the ground gives away yeah I think nobody likes getting that tower card in their personal readings the star aim high write down your goals with specific steps to reach them and there's the lovely moon like with the person in the moon the light may not be bright but it's a good time to honor your own intuition absolutely it's also about hidden things too and the Sun with the traditional child on the horse and the judgment card sort of resurrection happening here the world now is a good time to expand your outlook don't limit your scope Hmm. And now we get into the other ace of swords all the swords here let's see the ace is the seed of mental activity 
make sure you're clear on what you want. Two of Swords, about a decision wait, awaiting you. While you may have an internal debate going on now, is the time to let go of that ambivalence. Three of Swords, heartbreak is hard enough. Holding on to those emotions make it worse. That's true. I always say suffering is pain you're not willing to let, let go of. Here we go. Four of Swords, sometimes the ability to rest seems like a luxury. <laughs> oh, yeah. And sometimes the universe gives us opportunities to rest. You know, we'll wind up having a problem with our foot. And the universe is saying, slow down. We have to listen. Five of swords. Often you get caught up in the struggle to better yourself. This can come at the expense of friends and family. Mm -hmm. Very good. I like the bottom. It says, a hand offered is better than a sword drawn. Yeah, there's a lot more meaning to those cards. But this is a good start. Six of Swords. Things may be feeling rather unsettled, but trust that where you are going is the best place for you now. Yes, yeah, so it's family moving away from their old life and to a new life. Yeah. And the Seven of Swords, also sometimes known as the thief, <laughs> running away. I, I've got, I call it the I've got mine. <laughs> and, and some of yours probably too, right? Sometimes it's better to keep your ideas to yourself. Don't let your enthusiasm real, real feelings others might not like to take. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see what the other deck is with the key, keywords on it. Here's the Eight of Swords. Card reminds you to open your eyes. Yeah it's, yeah, it's also saying you think that you're tied up and you can't get out, but you can. You have the ability to work your way out of that and take off the blinders. Nine of Swords. No one likes to get that card either. But I guess it's not as bad as a Ten of Swords. Wake up from self-imposed nightmares. The key to this card is that most of the swords represent false truths. That's interesting. I never heard that one. Ten of Swords. Oh, woe was you. Yeah, I would say, oh, woe was you. <laughs> and the Page of Swords. Of course, Page is always bringing messages. Swift answer may not be the right answer. Yeah. Digging into the whys of the issue will give you a stronger base. And the Knight of Sword, busy going somewhere. Time to think things through. Sometimes you jump on an idea too fast. Oh yeah, he's definitely going fast. Queen of Swords, sort out problems by applying your agile mind. Your experience counts. You can think your way out of any problem. And the King of Swords, rule with your head, not your heart. Yeah. Swords are definitely a mental card. Okay, well now we'll get into the Ace of Wands, all the wands. Again, they are more representing the fire sign, more energy. It says, grab that wand so you can create magic. You hold the creative spark needed to make things happen. Action is called for, etc., etc. And the Two of Wands, an action must be taken. Sometimes all the options are good. Yeah. I know this. I know of this card as someone who's sort of waiting for their ship to come in. Uh, they, they, they're doing the work, but they're not quite ready for it. And then there's the Three of Wands. I know that to be more of somebody who's done the work and they're seeing their ship come in. And this one talks about anticipation can be enjoyable as long as you combine action with the waiting. Know you've put things into motion and don't waste time watching. Yeah, that's again about trusting that you know you've done what you need to do and you have an expectation and rightfully so that things should work out fine. And the Four of Wands, action you've taken pays off. So it shows here, you know, happy people with the lovely house behind them. It looks like a celebratory type of arbor or whatever you might call that. Yeah, it's a perfect time to plan a promotion or a graduation feat. Take time to congratulate yourself and your team for a job well done. And then the five of wands. A little bit of a melee there, confusion, not quite working together. But it says competition can be fun when you challenge yourself. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's interesting. They do different little explanations than I've been working with up until now. Six of Wands, victory is in your grasp. Yeah, there he is coming back, showing the, the winning wreath. 
and he, you notice that the horse isn't, he's not rushing, he's calmly and securely coming back with good news. Six of Wands. And there's the Seven of Wands. He's trying to hold his ground, defending his position. And it says you may have to defend your decisions. And then the Eight of Wands, of course, is everything happening very quickly. Put your ideas into action is one of the things they say. Nine of Wands, as you can see, he's pretty embattled, but uh, maybe have a little setback, but he's still there ready to fight. And the Ten of Wands is like, well, I got what I want, but it's a pretty heavy burden to carry. And said, when you see this card, remember to say no to any new demands or projects. Okay, interesting. Page of Wands, let your inner artist out, find ways to channel your creative passions. Keep a notebook to carry your ideas and thoughts. Okay. Knight of Wands, prepare to act. Something needs to be needs you to be fully engaged. Hmm. Passion is a good leader if you reign in the anger. Yeah, I saw that fire in the fire signs of wands. Queen of Wands, time to be proactive. Rather than wait for something to happen, you're asked to respond from your own passionate heart. King of Wands, demonstrate leadership through purposeful action is one of the things. And now we get to cups, the emotional cups, which relate more to the water signs, like Pisces and Cancer, Scorpio. And this says, Some, t someone offers you a heartfelt gift. Love spills over, so tell someone how you feel. Two of Cups, someone has their eye on you. Hold your hand out to someone you find how they feel. Three of Cups, let your comp compass point towards play today. Be ready to attend a party. Yes, that definitely seems to be about celebration, doesn't it? And the Four of Cups, when you see this card, look at the cup being offered. Yeah, I always know this to be of, he, he sits there with his hands over his solar plexus, which is usually trying to cover your, your power center, which is your solar plexus. And people usually do that when they're insecure about something. And... Uh, there he is looking at that cup being offered by the hand of God, and he doesn't like the offer. It's like, he's got four cups. It's like, nope, don't like what's being offered here. Okay. And the five of cups. And he's got three of them spilled, but he still has two behind him. But he's looking more, at, focusing on what has spilled rather than what is still there. It says, not every disappointment is a disaster. That's a good little key word or key phrase. Six of Cups, old friends bring you happiness today. Yeah, I know this as the nostalgia card. It's always sweet with the children in the cups. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups. Now, I know this to be about illusions. And this says, sparkly, shiny distractions are everywhere. You could lose yourself in daydreams today. Okay. And the Eight of Cups, baggage check, time to let those old tapes run out. Put on your walking shoes so you can continue leaving the past in the past. Hmm. And the Nine of Cups, count your blessings today. That's definitely one of abundance, isn't it? Many good things flow your way. Look for happy outcomes. And of course, the Ten of Cups is just great abundance. Happily ever after moment, celebrate all the love togetherness you have been blessed with. And then we have the Page of Cups with the fish in it. Again, traditional Rider Waite symbolism. Open your heart up to the beauty and magic of the world. Romantic daydreams can be indulged. Knight of Cups. Again, I know him to be bringing an offer. And again, the horse is going slowly, so he doesn't seem to be too much of a rush. I said, emotions are high when this card shows up. Your best course is to let yourself feel, but don't lose sight of your primary purpose. Now, these are definitely have different meanings than I've been reading in all the notes and some of the books I've had. Queen of Cups, let your response be informed by compassion. Deep dives into your emotional depths are your strength. King of Cups, lead with compassion today. Now we have the pentacles, which are earth 
relate to the earth signs and also relate to job opportunities, money, can be family money. Let's see, looking for a job or promotion. Here's the beginning of the monetary success and good health. Happy family and friends. The Two of Pentacles. It's about balancing home and work. It says, all play, no work is just as bad as all work and no play. Okay. And the Three of Pentacles. Now, I know that to be uh, some craftsman receiving congratulatory notes on a job well done. It says, sometimes bringing in new blood can rejuvenate things. You may be approached by a committee. And we have the Four of Pentacles. It's pay attention to your bottom line. Don't make any rash cash decisions. Don't loan money. I think of that as the hoarder card. You know, I've always heard of it as being the hoarder card. He's like really holding on to his money. And there's the five of pentacles. Again, the fives often are not talking about all the good things happening. They're usually a portent of what's not working too well. And you can see in the fives here, there's, there's light coming from the church, but... They're cold, they're without sh proper shoes, they're hurt, they're hungry, and they can't see that there's light waiting in the church for them. They just can't see past their pain and their lack. So don't let pride stop you from asking for help. Yeah. And there's Six of Pentacles. It's about gift giving. Today's a good day for getting gifts as well as giving them. Seven of Pentacles, money issues benefit from another look. That's interesting. See, I always know it to be more about um, he's looking at some of his harvest. He's not fully done with his harvest, but he's taking a rest, contemplating what he has already harvested. But it also says here, uh, evaluate your progress before proceeding. So that, yeah, that probably relates to what I understand the card to represent. And then there's the Eight of Pentacles, which to me represents the um, craftsman who's very good, uh, very engrossed in his work, high integrity, high craftsmanship. And they talk about, it may indicate, you might consider taking a class or learn a craft. Whatever you're undertaking, give it or you all. It, it, good. Nine of Pentacles, again, that's the the woman who has affluence and beautiful property. And uh, so you've worked hard, accomplished a great deal, so it's time to take a well-deserved break and enjoy some leisure time. Yeah, good card. And, of course, the Ten of Pentacles is like, oh, you've made it. You know, all your work and your dreams are paying off. <laughs> No need to worry about finances now. Expect the money to show up. And we have the Page of Pentacles. And it's giving you news about probably about potential jobs and job searches. And the Knight of Pentacles is giving you information about examining your finances. Check your bank balance. And it says, any job or business venture you start right now will flourish. So it'll be interesting to see with the experienced Tarot readers who stay with this beginner deck to see how what you all think of what these explanations are on this particular deck. I would love your input on that. And there's a Queen of De Pentacles, delegate more. Light is the head that wears the crown when you assign tasks rather than taking it all on yourself. Yeah, it's sort of like the thing of, you know, hire the best people and let them do their work. Yeah, don't try to micromanage everything. Queen of Pentacles. And then lastly, we have the King of Pentacles. It says, reap the benefits of hard work. There may be a lack of direction around you. Pick up the tools you need to do the work. Your zeal for control could be a stumbling block. Generosity pays for itself. Sweat equity works better than a cash handout. Lead by doing. Okay, so that is this lovely deck. Now let's see what these are. I'm going to have to concentrate this deck. It's a, it's a small deck, but it doesn't feel like it's, you know, it's not so, as small as some of the other cards I have. Okay, well, it shuffles good that way. 
The cardstock is pretty strong. There's a little bit of shine, but it's not like overly glossy where they're sliding all over the place. So that's good. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm interested to see what cards fall out, right? Okay. Okay, now I think I got it. Used, used to using larger cards, but now it's working. Okay. So, yeah, this should work well. So, I'm going to continue doing this, and then I'll go through the cards, and I'll touch each one as part of my concentrating the deck and do some prayers over it, and uh, I'll smudge the deck. And, uh, and then maybe in another day, I will do the other one, which is the other beginner deck. This one here, which is uh, quick and easy to row. I think this one mainly just has, well, no, this one ha also has, uh, but just, just one paragraph each, but this covers when the card is right side up and then reversed. So I'll be interesting to see the difference in the explanations of these two decks. So if the deck that I'm waiting for uh, doesn't come in in the next few days, I'll do this one next and I'll, we can compare the two of them. So thank you for coming and watching. And I hope you have a most wondrous day and a wondrous life. Wishing you all the best. Wishing you all things bright and beautiful in your, your beautiful life. So thank you for coming. And if you like the fact that I put this up there, if it, you think it's any good for you or someone else, uh, please hit the like button. And uh, thank you for coming, and I hope you come again. So for now, namaste, my dear friends.